welcome back today we are going to cover these topics number one how to prepare for itm itm steps for sprinkler system impairments and deficiencies and types of impairments and deficiencies how to handle these impairments and deficiencies as per nfpa 25 color coded tagging and also we will look at some sample tags so let's start how to prepare for ITM here is a step-by-step -step checklist you can follow number one gather documentation and create checklists start with the paperwork know what you are inspecting make a checklist and schedule your work this keeps everything organized and focused number two check as built drawings make sure updated as built drawings are available if anything has changed in the system layout it should be reflected on those drawings get authority having jurisdiction approvals if required if the system needs to be shut down or there is a major test happening you might need approval from authority having jurisdiction number four conduct initial inspection or conduct initial site observation walk around the site and get a feel for the system layout riser rooms valves sprinklers and access points number five notify fire department or local authority this is very important the owner must inform the fire department or local authority before starting any testing that may trigger alarms or shut systems down you need to coordinate with the property owner as well number six visual inspection visual inspection shall be done for all the components in preparation for itm number seven check tags and name plates ensure all control valves pumps and other components have proper identification tags readable name plates number eight check spare cabinet look inside the spare sprinkler cabinet make sure it has the correct number and types of spare heads and a working wrench number nine client or owner sign off once the preparation and work are done get the final documents signed by the client or property owner for records and compliance so remember good preparation isn't just admin work it's your first step towards a successful and compliant inspection now let's talk through the five steps to properly perform itm for sprinkler systems whether you are doing it yourself or reviewing a contractor's work step one would be identify the sprinkler types start by knowing exactly what type of sprinkler heads are installed in each area of your facility because different types of sprinklers may have dif different inspection and maintenance requirements step two perform itm with the right tools inspect test and maintain the system using correct tools and methods as required by nfpa 25 this includes checking sprinkler heads piping valves gauges and alarms step 3 generate or review itm reports document everything either generate reports as an inspection technician or review them as an owner or facility manager these reports are proof of compliance and system condition step 4 evaluate corrective actions if there were deficiencies or impairments confirm that the right corrective actions were taken and taken on time step 5 check the tagging lastly review the facility and make sure tagging has been done correctly using the right codes 
and in the proper locations as per the local AHA requirements. These five steps helps ensure sprinkler system stays compliant, functional and ready to protect life and property. Let us understand one of the most critical part of NFPA 25 impairments and deficiencies. What does impairment means? An impairment is a condition where a fire protection system or unit or portion is not capable of providing the required fire protection. It means an impaired system is a serious threat and needs urgent action or urgent attention. I will explain you with some examples such as main control valve is closed which obviously affects the functionality of the system since all the control valves shall be normally open position. Water supply turned off. This is also an impaired condition. Fire pump not working. System under repair. Types of impairments. Number one, pre-planned impairment. It is nothing but an impairment in which when we already know in advance that the system will be out of service like for repairs, upgrades or maintenance. We already know about these things so it will be pre-planned impairment. So for example replacing the control valves, sprinkler testing, fire pump maintenance etc. There is one more type called emergency impairment. It means this is unplanned impairment. The system suddenly fails without notice and it's dangerous. For example, sprinkler pipe burst, valve accidentally shut, pumps stop working unexpectedly. All these comes under emergency impairment. So there are two types of impairments, pre-planned impairment and emergency impairment. What does a deficiency mean? Deficiency means a system has issues but still it can work. It means a condition that does not stop the system from functioning but still needs correction. It also means something is wrong but the system is still functional. Now let us try to understand the types of deficiencies. Number one critical deficiency. It affects the performance and must be fixed soon. For example, heavily corroded pipe, damaged sprinkler, blocked pipe, all this comes under critical deficiencies. Deficiencies are less problematic than impairments. So there is one more type non-critical deficiency. It means a minor issue does not affect system performance. For example, missing wrench, faded signs, a few lightly loaded sprinklers. As a inspector, we need to define or we need to identify whether a particular system or component is in deficiency mode or impairment mode. This will be depends upon the logic and experience we can identify. There is no particular method to define whether a particular system is in deficiency or impairment. If it affects the system functionality then it comes under impairment. If the system is having minor issues or some issues but that does not affect the system performance then they will come under deficiencies but in either of these two cases we need to handle these deficiencies or impairments and we need to rectify as soon as possible. So next the question arises how to handle impairments and deficiencies. So let us try to look at the impairments. first. For impairments, pre-planned or emergency impairment, 
the following steps have to be followed step 1 notify or inform the owner authority having jurisdiction and any agency immediately if the condition is impairment step 2 appoint an impairment coordinator this person or this person ensures the right steps are followed step 3 implement fire watch if required assigned trained staff to monitor the area continuously step 4 minimize impairment duration complete repairs or maintenance quickly restore protection as soon as possible last step would be document everything this is the most important part log the impairment actions taken and that's it for deficiencies even it is a critical or non-critical deficiencies first of all we need to identify what kind of deficiency is that during the inspection or testing and note down all the deficiencies step 2 classify critical or non-critical step 3 communicate share findings with the property owner recommend timelines for fixing issues step 4 repair and retest critical issues must be repaired first retest if required step 5 keep records maintain reports for accountability and compliance color coded tagging there are various tags that can be used as per nfpa 25 we will explain based on the criticality of the system for example green tag means the system is in proper working order and it is in compliance with the nfpa 25 no critical deficiencies or impairments and yellow tag means non critical deficiency minor issues found system still functions properly but need correction but no immediate danger red tag is a critical deficiency or impaired it means a major problem or full impairment system is not functioning or unsafe immediate action required there are few more tagging rules as well on tax we need to provide the date inspector name type of issue signature etc as per nfpa 25 nxs we can use these tags as shown for our itm purposes i will just quickly go through these tags green means compliant no issues no deficiencies or impairments inspection testing completed and passed indicated on the itm report yellow non critical deficiency minor issue found system still functions but correction is recommended found and recorded in the itm report orange critical deficiency serious issue system performance may be affected in a fire needs urgent fix recorded on the itm report red tag is nothing but impairment system or part of it is out of service immediate action required indicated on the itm report white tag means repair completed correction or repair tag used alongside with other tags to show corrections or repairs have been made these tags can be used since this has been defined in nfpa 25 you can see on your screen sample tags green tag means compliance tag we should enter all the information and here you can see non critical deficiency tag uh, here also we have to mention everything on the tag what kind of deficiency is that and so on and critical deficiency tag will be orange color type red tag means impairment tag 
correction or repair tag you can use white tags and sample impairment tag for shut off valve or sprinkler valve on day 3 we will discuss about the types of fire protection systems and purpose and functioning of fire protection systems in line with nfpa 25 so just remember even the best fire protection system becomes useless if it's impaired or neglected i hope you understand today's video if you like my videos make sure to subscribe to my channel irfan cf ps you can find lot of videos on my channel related to the designing of sprinkler and fire alarm systems thank you if you have any queries make sure to drop them in the comments below i'll read everything and i will respond to everyone thank you once again bye